All right, so here's the card for today. A quick and easy card. Now, I wanted to tell you, I colored this with markers, but I wanted to, I experimented. This one was stamped with memento, and after I stamped it, I hit it with the heat tool. It did not bleed. So for the first card, I stamped the image. Now I used, sorry, I didn't use Memento. I used um, Early Espresso, both of these. I stamped it yesterday. Oh, thanks, Janice. And I took and I let this one dry overnight. So all day yesterday and last night it dried. So I experimented to see <coughs> if it would um, bleed because I don't have the blends. So, and I sometimes want, to use early espresso, especially on the sunflowers. So I'm gonna start by doing the center with crumb cake. And I'm just gonna, I'm not coloring a lot. I'm just going around and coloring it in. And it doesn't look like it bled, we'll know more. And then this one is crushed curry. So I'm gonna do my leaves, and not my leaves, my petals all the way around all right and like i said if it um if you let it dry it doesn't bleed um now if you want to do it right away i wanted to experiment to see if you could do it both ways if you want to stamp it and color it right away Hit it with your heat tool to dry that ink real good. And it did not bleed. All right, and this one is not bleeding either. But I will clean my, at least it's not bleeding much. If it bleeds some, I'll know when I scribble off. So let me get a piece of paper. And it bled some, but not, not a ton. All right, and then the leaves I did with Old Olive. Um, I had a hard time coming up with the green. Pear Pizzazz wasn't dark enough. And Shaded Spruce was too dark. All right, so that's done. This is mounted onto a piece of um, pattern paper and this is from the Regals collection and I'm gonna add this to the paper and I think the measurements will be posted afterwards but I think the image layer is two and a fourth and the pattern paper layer is two and a half so I've got that done Here's my card base. Oh, I forgot to tell you, for my sunflower, I use Celebrate Sunflowers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My sentiment came from, I think it's Artistically Inked. I think that's the one for the Hello. I just used Hello in all of them, all right? I'm gonna put this flat. You can use dimensionals, but I didn't want to, again, I'm very conscious of with the post office's prices going up, I don't want to use a lot of dimensionals and end up having to pay extra postage. All right, so my hello, of which I do not see, let me, let me get in here and see. My hello is it's not on the table oh I wonder if I put it away I bet I did because my artistically inked isn't over there and I yep there it is and that shouldn't be back on my shelf because there's a um, stamp missing out of it so did you ever do that put things away and then think, oh my gosh, I need it for my card. 
All right, here we go. All right. All right, and I'm gonna stamp it below. And there's the first card. Quick and easy, no problem. All right, but I decided I wanted to change it up a bit. So I'm gonna use All Things Fabulous and I'm using these layers and this leaf. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start stamping and I've chosen Flirty Flamingo, Calypso Coral, and Poppy Parade for my layers. So I'm gonna start with Flirty Flamingo and that's gonna be the large flower. Got that there. All right, and the next layer up, it's a bigger one, and it's gonna be done in Calypso Coral. So I'm gonna stamp it. Now, I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh yeah, you can still see it. I was thinking, oh, it may not be enough of a difference. And then the top layer, where the center of the flower is Poppy Parade. All right, so I'm going to ink this up and stamp it in there. So we have some dimension to our flower. All right, and then I need to get my leaves and I chose Granny Apple Green. Do you guys struggle with colors for these, the different layers for your stamps? Okay, I'm gonna pull my paper back over here because I wanna, I wanna put another one here and then one there. Oops, all right, so there I've got my flower. And I have an extra little line there because it didn't get done. Now I pulled in some of the pattern, pattern party, party pattern paper. It's the Hostess um, paper you can get. And I'm gonna put this on there. I just thought it was fun and would be fun for the the card, I'm gonna pull in my card base. These are quick cards. I mean, great for mass producing. This is gonna go on, and then I changed this up. I did not add a sentiment. This is, might be one that you need some extra postage on because I wanted to see what it would look like if we added a bow. So I pulled in some of this black and white checked or gingham ribbon. I love this ribbon, oh my gosh. It is my all time favorite. I'm gonna be so sad when it retires and goes out of the, oops. Um, hmm, here it is. I had, uh, class here so we were using my scissors to cut ribbon. Do you guys have a favorite ribbon? What's your favorite ribbon? Then I'm gonna, I've got like two or three of these things because I love them. Oh thanks Sharon. Sharon don't forget to send me your address because you won the card from last week. Um, so and I'll ship that out to you. Just send it to me in a private message. All right, and I'm gonna put this underneath. So if you don't wanna put a sentiment, you can do that. All right, now I'm gonna move that to the side. And I thought I would do a Christmas one. So I pulled out the deer one. Well, there goes my stamp. Um, the Peaceful Deer. 
Oh, thanks, Barb. And I'm going to use the trees and Merry Christmas. So this is going to be a clean and simple one. All right. And let's see. I decided to go with Evening Evergreen for my trees. And then this one is the same size as all the other pieces. But I did make my background piece larger. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna stamp it again in the background to give it some interest. And then I'm gonna stamp these little ones. And again in the background. And I think I'm gonna stamp the little ones again. All right. So there's that. So there's some trees in the foreground and trees in the background. And then for my sentiment, which is Merry Christmas from that set, I'm gonna stamp it in Cherry Cobbler. All right. And I ink this up, I hope it works. This one is an older set, or older. There it works, yeah. It's an older stamp pad, so it's the linen finish, which is my all-time favorite, but um, one of those things. All right, now, for this, I'm gonna put this on a piece of red, and I cut this piece um, bigger. The others were only a fourth of an inch bigger, this is two and three fourths, so it's a good half inch bigger than this one. But I wanted it to have more of the red to show. All right, let me get this on here. And then I took, and I'm gonna add it to a panel that's Evening Evergreen. Um, I, I love this striped paper. So I'm gonna put that on there. All right. This is my card base. And I used white on all of my card bases because it's just easier. Um, you don't have to add extra layers inside. If you're gonna have a lot of layers on the front, think about, you know, you start adding too many layers, you gotta pay extra postage. All right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this one up so I can see it a little bit better. All right. All right, so there's that. And then to tr change this one up, I'm gonna pull in some of the gold gilded, the gilded gems. I just felt it, you know, it's Christmas, it needed some bling. And I pulled in my gems. All right, so I'm gonna add some of those on here just for something different Woo! that one went flying and now this one will probably take more postage because of the gems you can also emboss that background so there it is three cards quick and easy and it was done in about 25, 20 minutes, maybe, maybe less than that. So not hard. And like I said, all of the dimensions will be posted after this is over with. So you have it, but I mean, you can go from simple to stepping it up three ways and using different stamp sets. The only thing you have to do is when you're cutting this square, it's gotta be small enough. Oh, thanks, Barb, I love it. I love the Christmas also. It's gotta be small enough to, um, the image has to be small enough to fit in that square. So what I did was I cut my square, or I chose my 
sunflower and cut my square and I knew the rest would be that. So then I just started pulling out my sets to see what would work and have it ready to stamp and go. And I hope that I did that experiment that I did with the stamping with the early espresso on the sunflower helps you. I think you could do it with any color um, ink. You just have to either hit it with your heat tool or let it dry overnight. And I just let it dry overnight because I stamped it when I finished this one and all. So I hope you've enjoyed my stamps, paper, and ink today. I did add some gems and um, ribbon because I just felt I wanted to give you some ideas. But if you don't have gems or ribbon, you can do it very simple. I mean, you can even stamp the background in this in a really, really soft, pale gray um, and just create a background with it. So lots of ideas and... You can see what it looks like with the skinny border and with the larger border.